Hey ho, my name is Joe and welcome to Coffee Talk. Decided that I'm going to post Coffee Talk when I need to update you on something. So if you are new here, my name is Joanna. I refer myself as Joe here on BookTube and I have an obsession with books as you can see behind me. My collection's always growing, I'm always looking for something new and I just need a place to talk about books so this is why we're here. Now if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I hope we have lots of fun and we go from there. I, I'm really horrible at this. I'm still learning the whole talking to a camera thing and things like that so please bear with me. So the reason I wanted to do this coffee talk is I've had a lot going on in my life for the past month. Uh, July was just a crazy chaotic month for me. Like the last half of July I I had a lot going on and things were changing and just everything was just happening at once. Um, on July 13th my brother got married and then on July 14th I had to say goodbye to a wonderful beautiful um, person in my life who was like a mother to me. Her kids were like my siblings. Her husband was like my father. It, it was just, we were all one big happy family and unfortunately we had to say goodbye to her which is, I wasn't ready for it and I just, it's been an emotional roller coaster. Um, when we got back from that, Edward and I had to make a few changes in our house. We had been saving up some money for a while and we had, had to, we had to get a new couch. We ended up upgrading our bathroom. We ended up purchasing a washer dryer that's stackable and if you hear the rumbling it's because that washer is going because I've got my work uniform in there and I feel like that's really loud and I'm hoping it's not transferring onto the camera um, but and then there's just other things that have been going on where I haven't been doing able to do much reading because I for the past month besides when I took the time off to go up to, to the wedding and everything like that um, I've been working six days a week, so I literally had one day off. And usually when I have that one day off, I would do a lot of video recording and things like that, but it, it's just more or less, I do my recording one day and then I have the next day off because I usually have two days off in a row when I do my recording on one day and then I will do the editing and uploading on Tuesday. So I do like two or three videos in one day for filming and then two or three videos in one day for editing and getting them uploaded. So I always, I have videos constantly going through my YouTube, it's just I haven't had the time to do any recording or anything like that just because my life has been so crazy and chaotic. And I want to do more videos, it's just the problem of working six days a week, I am so physically exhausted by the time my day off comes that I don't have any motivation to do anything. No motivation to do any reading, no motivation to do any videos. I just, well I mean I have motive. I can't say I don't have any motivation because I have motivation to get stuff done around my house and things like that, but more or less I take the day that I have the off and I clean because throughout the week I'm I'm not one of don't try not to judge me on this but I'm not one of those ones that will clean throughout the week I mean that might sound gross okay hear me out I you know do the daily things like you know take care of the dishes take care of laundry if I need to you know pick up things off the floor but once a week I do laundry once a week I clean my bedroom once a week I um, you know, take care of the other things that always get, you know, put on the back burner throughout the week. That's mainly what I've been doing on my one day off a week. But, we should be able to get right back into this because next week we should be going back to our regularly scheduled schedule at work. Hopefully, um, so we'll see how things play out, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, next week you will be seeing a book review so yay so exciting also I want to talk to you about uh, the fact that 
I didn't participate in the reading rush, but I really wanted to. I watched a lot of booktubers, like some of my favorite booktubers, um, Haley and Bookland, Brittany, uh, the Bibliophile, I think that's how you say her name, and um, I think Bookables, I think she did a week-long vlog, and I think Library of Elizabeth also did a week-long vlog for it. I will leave Everybody I followed throughout the whole week of the reading rush, I will leave right down below. That way you guys can check them out. And they, Brittany just made it look so much fun, and Haley was having so much fun with it. I mean, I wanted to participate in it. I jumped on the bandwagon, I got a little too late. I didn't realize the reading rush was going on. I might try to do the reading rush definitely next year, which I'm very excited for. And I thought about actually doing like maybe a week-long reading vlog or like a weekend vlog. I, I thought about starting some vlogs that way so I can get more than one video up a week. So I thought about maybe like starting on my days off, which are normally Mondays and Tuesdays. Uh, I thought on my days off I will start doing like reading vlogs and things like that, like a reading thing. I'm not really sure exactly. Um, but there are a couple of books I would like to get through. I've been listening to a lot more audiobooks, and there's a couple of books that I'd rather physically read because because I have the copy of the book and I'd rather physically read it. And it's I'm not really decided how I want to go about it yet, but you know we'll get there when we get there. And if you guys have any suggestions on a reading vlog or anything like that go ahead and leave a comment down below I would love to know your suggestions on how I can go ahead and get that started um, but you know it's there's just so much that I want to do for this channel I'm trying to play it all out trying to you know figure it all out in my head I have a few things that are few. I have a let me let me word it this way. I have some big things coming. I have a big change coming. I have not really a change. I have a big project that I'm actually working on coming. That's also why I've been a little absent. There's been a couple things I'm working on that I'm going to put into my videos and I'm actually quite excited for it. I can't share anything with you yet because I'm still working on it and what I can tell you it's going to happen in my living room so I'm very very excited I like I said I can't share it with you yet but it's going to happen by the end of the year you might have to wait until December to see what happens but you know I might even have to wait to see what December to see what happens but I know what change is coming but I can't share it with you just yet because I don't want to because I kind of want to leave it like a surprise open. Um, also a few other changes that have happened lately is Edward and I have been saving up some money and we have redone our bathroom. We are slowly, slowly <laughs> redoing our living room. Uh, this bookshelf's not going away. We decided that this is staying right where it is. Um, also, we got a new furry baby who's walking up to my tripod right now, hoping he doesn't knock it over. Um, but we got a new furry baby. His name is Salem. And I think I'll put a picture right here of him if I can find one. Um, his name is Salem, and he has been an absolute joy to add to our family. He's crazy. He's chaotic. I completely forgot what it's like to have a kitten in the house. A 12 week old kitten and he's crazy. He's rambunctious. He's loud. He cries a lot. He He's going to be a long haired cat. And um, personally I've never had a long haired cat. So this is definitely going to be a learning experience for me. Uh, as far as reading goes I haven't been doing much because of my crazy chaotic uh, July that I had, but I was able to finish two books throughout the month of July, and it was just an emotional month. Very, very emotional. 
it's hard to think about July and not get emotional and not break down, not cry, just because of how emotional it was. And I'm hoping that, you know, definitely August is better. I will definitely, hopefully, get a lot more reading done this month. And I'm still working on my summer reading list, which I feel like I've made some progress on that. Um, I want to say I've done, honestly, two books on my summer reading list, which I hate to admit that, but yeah, it's only been two books. I added another book in there that I listened to on audio because I wanted to hear it. I wanted to read it because uh, it was by one of my favorite authors, Allison Noel, and I actually really did enjoy it, but that would be at a different review. I'm going to have a uh, review on Allison Noel in general. So once I can actually get my hands on a physical copy of that book, I will definitely be doing a book review on Alison Noel. Uh, right now I am currently reading, what am I reading? Uh, Chasing Redbird by Sharon Creech. And also I am reading Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, which is one I've been actually reading since June. But the only problem is, is I cannot seem to get into Pride and Prejudice. It's just, I don't even know where I'm at with it. I'm only on page 102. So, I might honestly just start the whole thing over again and whatnot. Because it's been so long since I started it that I don't even remember how it began. <laughs> so... Um, but the next one that I've been considering on reading is Fallen by Lauren Kate. I unfortunately don't have the dust jacket for it, but the dust jacket with this I remember looked really, really pretty. Um, but this is one of the ones that was on my reading list that I have been slowly starting to pick up and read. I think I read like the first two chapters twice. <laughs> and because I would pick it up, read it, and then put it down and then go back to it, pick it up, read it, put it down for like a couple of days. So, um, I, I guess you can say I'm in a reading slump right now with just with all the changes and stuff that have been going on, with all the chaos, the craziness at work, with six days a week working right now, it's just been a crazy, chaotic thing that's been happening. So, yeah. Um, if you guys haven't noticed for the past couple of videos I've had as well, I've become a book uh, book depository affiliate. Affiliate? Is that the right word? I hope that's the right word. Um, my link is down below that is where you guys can go ahead and click that link, go up over to there and buy some books. Um, any money that I make with that will go right back into this channel. That way so I can purchase books and things like that. So definitely check out that link below. I have actually even purchased some books from the, from Book Depository. I'm still waiting for them to come in and I am so excited for when they get here because I, I gotta be honest, I spent quite a bit of money on that site and I'm waiting. I'm waiting, waiting, anticipating and waiting and I can't wait for these books to come in because they're books that I've wanted for a really long time and I've got a really good discount on them. But I also do try to go to my local bookstore um, to support that because my my local bookstore is literally one of those that is kind of like hole in the wall and they get a lot of new books in but they also try to buy back books and they redistribute out to the public. They're just a bookstore that you know, works with the community and stuff like that. They have a lot of other bookstores across my state. If you guys are curious, it's the state of Maine. Um, they have a lot of book uh, bookstores across the state of Maine, but they all kind of like share and work together. And when they are here, like, you know, in a town, which my this bookstore is in the next town over uh, from me. So they, they work with the community, they work with the surrounding towns, and 
they literally just work with everybody. They donate back to the town and things like that. So I definitely try to support my local bookstore. And y'all, it is a Maine based company. Uh, so if you guys go ahead and Google that, you might know, figure that out what it is. But they are a Maine company and uh, they try to get back to the towns and the communities and the state of Maine and things like that. So I have to support my local bookstore, but I will end up purchasing things off Amazon. I will purchase things off of a book depository if I need to, if they don't have it, if they, you know, they can't get it. If they can't get it, then yes, I will purchase it off a book depository. That's kind of the rule I made for myself. That's why I also became affiliate, uh, affiliate. I feel like this is the wrong word, affiliate. That's why I became an affiliate because I want to be able to give back to my channel. I want to be able to, you know, get somewhere with this channel. And I need to be able to support my local bookstore. And I will end up purchasing, I, I've said this again, but I will end up purchasing stuff from there if I can't find it in my bookstore. Always support local bookstores before I go online to order it. That's what I'm trying to say in a long-winded way. But also, let's see, what else has been going on? Um, Edward and I just redid our bathroom. We, again, are in the process of redoing our living room. Um, the next step, which will probably be next summer, is going to be our kitchen. I think I'm going to end this video here because my battery is about dead. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I know I kind of rambled on and on and on and on here. Um, but, you know, that's what we do with Coffee Talk. Um, don't forget to check out all my links below. Hit subscribe button if you are new. And I, because I would love to see you guys in my next video. I have a lot of book reviews coming. So definitely hit subscribe if you don't want to miss that. I will leave a link down below to um, any other videos you guys might be interested in. I think I'll, just, I'll post a random couple. And... With that being said, I'll see you guys next time.